What's going on, guys? We're going to be swapping out this factory 8 inch radio with a 12 inch Android radio here. By the way, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Here we got our harness, big bundle of wires. There's no need to be intimidated by this. Once you get comfortable with wiring, uh, this is really nothing compared to like a car alarm system and a remote start. You've got much more to deal with, but this is just a basic plug and play. So we're gonna start by taking out this radio and removing the screws behind it. And this just pops right out. There's clips holding it. We just got one plug here. Go ahead and hook that. And just as simple as that, this radio is out. We got a couple screws to take off here, back in there, four screws to remove the radio. So So we gotta get up on here and unplug some wires. Okay, got the radio out. That's what it looks like. And it's just a matter of hooking up our new. All right, so here's our GPS antenna. Now it comes with a whole lot of wires, but actually half of the wires you won't even need to use unless you're hooking up a aftermarket radio. Uh, you won't need to use all those RCA cables and audio cables and stuff like that. So the bundle of wires, you actually won't, won't even use half of them. Now this connector here, this is probably the most difficult connect connector to attach and it can easily break if you're not careful. So that's one you want to be careful with. Just as long as you're following the instructions, you shouldn't run into no issues at all. The instructions are nice and clear. It shows you picture illustrations and then they're numbered to show you exactly where you attach the cables to. So really nice detailed instructions. You can't go wrong. We end up burying the navigation antenna in the dash, way back behind the dash, and just like that there, we're just sticking it in there. And it really it really still picks up a nice, good signal. It doesn't need to be up on the windshield or on top of the dashboard. You still get a really good signal if it's buried back in the dash. That's where we put it. There was a time where I was very afraid to even think about messing with wires, but I started with a little splicing, doing splices, uh, load resistors, small things, start off small, 
and then you get more comfortable and confident. And of course, you know, do your research before you think about doing wiring, especially on your automobile. Here's our CarPlay wire. We end up routing our CarPlay wire down in the dash, down under the glove box and made it come up on the right side. And so we just attached our cable right there. And once we check and make sure everything is working properly, we just took some zip ties, made everything nice and neat back there. You know, get everything looking, looking at least halfway professional. But it's really not a, not a difficult install. Plug and play, good detailed instructions. That's the, that's the key, especially if you're a first time doing this. One thing you definitely want to make sure you do is check to make sure everything's working before you reinstall the radio. Check the navigation, your backup cam, your four ways, sport mode, all the heating settings. Make sure everything is working, working on the touchscreen before you actually reinstall the radio. So that's what we're doing here. Everything's hooked up. Now we're just checking to make sure everything is working properly before we reinstall it and put it back into the housing. But this purchase is a really good purchase uh, for Phoenix Automotive. This thing is huge and it looks really, really nice. Now, as far as the insulation, you'll just need basic tools, maybe some pry tools, a socket set, flathead screwdriver, uh, some zip ties, and maybe a set of wire cutters to cut off the zip ties. Really not a difficult installation, but this purchase is well worth it. I mean, it makes the vehicle look totally different. As soon as you open the door, you notice that screen. Real nice purchase, I'm, I'm really loving it. All right guys, so we finally got our 12.1 inch Android radio fully installed. Everything's working properly and this thing looks absolutely amazing um i'm shooting at night because you get a better picture uh on video there's no there's not a lot of glare but this thing is absolutely amazing it makes the whole interior of your vehicle just just stand out i mean it's huge this thing is twice the size of the original eight inch radio i mean this thing is a true 12.1 inch or or even bigger now it came in pretty fast from Phoenix Automotive. They gave me the option to ship it faster by FedEx Two Day Air, and it came in hot. Now the installation is very simple and straightforward. Instructions are nice and clear. No fitment issues. This thing fits snug like a glove. No gaps around in the corners. Now you do have to reuse your factory clips to snap this in place. There's four orange clips for this particular radio. You use four of them. You, you take four of them off your OEM radio and snap them to the back of this. But I have no complaints with this so far. I still have a lot to learn about it. So I'm gonna just keep this video basic, go through the basic uh, features of it. Now it's very responsive radio. As Soon as you touch it, it reacts. We have our maps loaded in there already. Uh, we loaded different, several different maps. The nice thing about it is once your maps are loaded in there, you can view them offline. You don't have to continually keep connecting to the internet, um, which when I do need to connect to the internet, I just tether my phone. Um, so our GPS is working, our radio is working fine. You, you got all your presets in there. Um, Go to your music files, your console files. Now everything is touchscreen. So when you control your heat and everything, everything is touchscreen. So I kind of like that. The knobs you get, you kind of get tired of, but everything is touchscreen here. Uh, you got your Bluetooth. I usually don't connect to Bluetooth. I like to uh, hook up the Apple CarPlay. 
you can play videos on this, uh, upload, you, you can play YouTube, you can watch your Netflix on here. The Car Auto is your Apple CarPlay. Uh, currently, we're not hooked up. All our apps are in here. You can go here and customize all your apps. Uh, we got our Internet Explorer. Uh, got our DVR there, our file manager. This is where all the vehicles files or stores such as if you want to upload a image in the background or whatever you can load it all in there uh, now if we go to if we go to our settings this is where you can really uh, go deep and customize things you got your gps monitor you can customize date and time obviously that's self-explanatory you can change the language you got your equalizer this is a one of my favorite features. Now, if you have an aftermarket system installed in this in your vehicle, you can really, really customize it to your full, to the full capability. This is my favorite part, the 16 segment EQ. You can really tweak the sound to your liking, your highs, your mids, your lows. Balance. You got full control if you have an aftermarket sound system in this in this uh, in your vehicle. This enables you to have full control. All of these functions here. You got your uh, presets in there. All different presets. They sound pretty nice too. You got a, a wide variety. You can explore and kind of check out. You got your low pass filter, your high pass filter. You can all you can tweak everything. Okay, another nice feature of this is if you press this, you can go to half screen mode and it'll show the Durango up there. I really like that Durango too. I wish it was gray or black, but that's just like the preset Durango that comes with the vehicle. And you actually have the ability to go in there and put any car you want in there um, by a flash drive. You can upload it into the vehicle and then set it on the screen, do a system reboot and have your own vehicle, whatever vehicle you want in there. Now this little function bar here, this is, um, I uploaded this in there. Now it comes with a regular standard gray bar, but this, you can see the blue the blue lights. Uh, this, this is a different interface. So um, now I need a system update. So with that system update, it enables you to have about 50 different interfaces you can choose from, but the up the software that I have now downloaded into it is just two the standard and this one and I chose this one I kind of like that one uh, another feature is you can switch this to be up up at the top just by pressing that little button there just like that again you can go full screen to where the radio is showing or anything any app is showing on the full screen just like that but this has tons and tons of different features. Uh, if we go back to our settings, if you go here to user settings, you can kind of tweak your, your navigation volume, parking sound and so forth. Wheel settings, you can change the steering wheel to any, any buttons you want, you can customize them. I just have mine to set to where it's um, the factory settings. You got your system info. You can go in here to like a, a secret menu. Um, I haven't dug deep into all this. I'm still learning this uh, system. System reset, you can reset all the settings back to factory. Install set here. If you push in, there's different codes. You can go in here and it'll go to um, a different menu screen where you got more customization features. Radio region, America, touch key. You can kind of tweak all this stuff here. I'm not messing with all that. Boot logo. You can switch that. The boot logo, it comes up as an Android boot logo. You can kind of switch that. Again, I'm learning all these, all the features of this. So I'll do a separate video on that to dig deeper into this. But this is amazing. As you see, I changed the color of these buttons here um, to match with the kind of light bluish colors. You can change these to any color you want. And you can have it to where it's strobing, it's lighting different colors. Um, but I like this blue color, so I'm gonna leave it on that. This thing can do a lot of stuff. I really, really like it. Very, very pleased with this purchase. I mean, this thing, this screen, 
the size of this screen is just, it sets it off. I, I really, I really like it. So, but for now, guys, I'm going to wrap up this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you tap that subscribe button. Give it a video, a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Alex is RT Life signing off.